Okay, can everybody hear me? Um, CTP, you took too much size in, in, in SWKS. I didn't do SKWS, so I'm not sure what you did with it, where you put the stop, or what you did. But the, but the, but the stop fell. So if you took too much size, you made money. I'm confused what you're talking about. One, I didn't call it. Two, if you did it on your own, then you must have had a lot of conviction in it. I don't know where you put the stop, but it did work. So I don't, what's your question, Jesse? You didn't put the stop high enough. Did you get stopped out of SWKS? Did you take it and get stopped? Because it, it went on to work. I don't know why you did that. I don't know why you did that at all. CTRP may set up again. I'm not gonna call another trade in it. It's set up twice, we did it, we're in it. If you got out of it, you're kind of on your own to look for another setup. I have no idea what time it sets up or where. I know it's not gonna go anywhere near where we have the stop. And I also, here I'll look at this quick right now, but I also believe fully that um, it's just, like I said, crazy week. So it was a question of whether or not you were going to exit it down there, which you had plenty of time to do, plenty of time to do, or you're going to, you're going to watch it again. I don't, I don't know if this sets, I don't think this sets up right on here again. It may set up right on here again. I don't think this is going to set up right on here again. What we're looking for to have happen here is a nice sandwich. And if we get that, then we're good. And it's going to continue breaking. So you're on your own kind of with the exit here. If I, once I'm done with the lecture, I'll let everybody go in this. I'm not going to sit here all day and watch this. Watch this. I think it keeps going down, meaning. But it definitely could set up again. It's rallying enough. You're going you're to be on your own with your setup. I'm not taking any more. If you got out of it, though, then you got out of it probably because you wanted to get out of it. So... You got out of it. I don't know why you'd get back into it unless, again, you want to just get in and out, get in and out. And that's, again, not really how I trade. But if you want to start doing that, then you got to pick your own entries here because this may not set up right here again in the 15 minute. I, just the way that it's the way that it's shaped here today. I know this is going to keep going though. All right, let's start the lecture. So I was thinking about this. Can everybody see the people? If you're booking profits, be happy. If you're up for the day, take your money and run to the bank. Don't trade all day on a Friday unless you're already in this and waiting. Um, so here we have two people. This is you now. Hard to write with this paint, but this is this is you. You right now, and this is the new you over here. The, the you that, that you want to be. A better you, a new improved you. So... When you're going through, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to relate this to, to trading, but you could relate it to anything, actually. If you have, if you're doing whatever you're doing now, okay, we're, we're talking about some people doing this, some people doing that, some people are jumping around, some people are, are, are trading, some people are doing options, some people don't know what they want to do. This is you now. You're kind of in limbo. You're not 100% committed to anything. If this is you. Okay, those of you that are committed, obviously you're here, you're committed, you did the class, you're in the room, you, the commitment is there. You work out whatever issues or problems you have, sizing, whatever. Some of you did say you have to meet, retake the class, that's fine. But if you're, if you're in this mode, okay, where you're not the perfect you that you want to be, then you have, the first thing you need to do is to start envisioning the new you. You wish you were that thin. <laughs> this is not a life-size simulation so the first thing you need to do is to start visualizing yourself as the new you once you start to do that then it's going to be a lot easier for you to take steps to becoming the new you the problem is when you're in a when you're in a rut okay or you're in a limbo or you're doing something and you're trading and you're not as successful as you want to be or you're not successful at all, it's challenging sometimes to picture the new you and, and, and also to even figure out how to get to that you you want to be. 
I'm telling you the first thing you could do, and this is absolutely free advice, and it's, it doesn't cost you anything to do it, in your mind, start to picture the life that you would have and picture you yourself in that, that new you, in the life, looking and acting and feeling the way your life would be if you were a successful trader. Imagine yourself getting up in the morning, trading, making money. Imagine yourself not having to go to work. Imagine yourself having the rest of the day to yourself. Imagine yourself making more money if you want to. Imagine yourself living in a bigger home, having a nicer car, buying more clothes or whatever it is you want. So the first thing you could do, if, you're, if things aren't the way that you want, this is the you now, is start to conceive and think and imagine that new you is possible, that you could even exist as that person that you're not right now, but you want to be, and you completely can become. But if you can't even conceive of yourself as being a successful trader or making a lot of money or having the things you want in life, then how, then you're, then how are you gonna get there? I mean, it's gonna be even harder for you to get there because if you can't conceive it, do you think anyone else can conceive it? Imagine yourself as this new you a successful trader, instead of thinking that you can't do it or worried about that you can't do it or not knowing how you're going to do it, even if you don't know how you're going to do it, guess what? The answers will come if you can conceive that you can be there. The conception of the idea in your mind as reality, even if it's not right now, even if this is the you today, this is right now you, the idea that you can even conceive of yourself having a better life is extremely important for you to create it in your mind. Because trust me, then you'll be able to make decisions without having to be in fear about what those outcomes will be of those decisions. Whether that is taking a trade, whether it is taking a class, whether it is uh, committing more time in your life to trading or doing something that you weren't before, you know, you even if it's an hour, two hours a day in the morning, it's still a commitment that you previously had not committed yourself to, which is the time to trade. Because you gotta take time to trade. So if you're not committing five to 10 hours a week right now to trading, and you know you will have to commit to it, you have to conceive of that life where you're going to. So however things come together, it's like, it's like you can plan and 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 plan. You can plan everything down the last second, and nine times out of 10, it's not gonna go exactly the way that you planned it. Now, it may come close, but it may not go exactly the way you planned it. So planning yourself to death, although it seems great, usually isn't the best necessarily way to get there as fast as you want, which no one really knows what, how, how long it is. How, what's the fastest way to get yourself somewhere? Get on the, just get on the road and start act, action. Just, just go. I mean, and, and I guess I'm a great example of that because I started this process with television and I just jumped on the road, poof, and I'm off. And, you know, every plan that I had previous to doing it has gone awry. I've had 25,000 different plans and this one didn't work, this one didn't work, this one didn't work, but I keep going, 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 I keep going. So I'm, I'm getting somewhere with it. So, you know, if you never get on the road and start to take action, you will never get anywhere and you're putting off the eventuality of accomplishing the, your goal and your dreams and then creating the new you. So you need to start taking action. Stop worrying about whether or not the action is the right action or the wrong action. You need to become an action taker in reality and helping picture it in your mind, conceive it in your mind helps you to take the action. Because when you actually start to believe that you can have the life you want and be the new you, it'll be easier to take the action. You won't be so, so worried, so uh, fearful, so afraid. You'll know that taking action and getting on the path is a step in the right direction. And that in fact doing nothing is a step that's taking you nowhere. You, in fact, you may as well be going backwards because the longer it takes you to take action, the longer it is gonna be for you to actually move forward. Does this make sense? Hold on, let me just check CTRP for one second. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna be in this though, at least to lunch. Um, does anybody understand what I just said? That may have an, that may have another ad soon. Um, does everyone understand what I just said? I can't 
to relate to people that I talk to. I know Craig's here. He just wrote absolutely. I, I can I can relate to people. I can listen to people's stories. I can relate. Meaning I can I can I get what you're saying. Like I get it. But then at the same time, like it's like that's it's so like so many my personality is so different from some from some some of you and most people I think like because I'll just do something, and like I'm not worried about failure. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like I don't worry about failing, and a lot of you worry about failing. Galahad's not here today, but, you know, he worries about losing in trades. And I think it has, and in fact, I know that it has gotten in his head. So if you, if you are worrying and worrying and worrying about, if I do this, this is going to happen, or what's going to happen if I do this, or I'm worried about taking this trade, or what's going to happen, or I don't know if I'm going to do that. It just, it gets, it gives you like a headache. It gives me like a headache just even thinking like that for like five seconds. Like, you know, like, you can't worry about walking out in the street and being hit by a car. That's because that's what you're worried about. If you're worried about learning a new trading strategy, taking a class, starting a new career, you know, committing yourself to something, you know, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen to you? It doesn't work out. But what's the best thing that can happen to you? You have the life that you want and the new you. So, I mean, you have to be willing. I say take chances or take risks, but it's really just more important than that. I mean, you, you know, you can't constantly be in the state of indecision, which the worrying creates the indecision, and then as a result, you take no action, and then you get nowhere, and then the new you is over here and is completely out of your reach. You can't even conceive of the new you because you've taken no action for weeks and months and days and year to create the new you. And at some point, like the new you is over here laughing yourself saying, really? That's a joke. You're not going to come over here and create me. I know you're not because it's been years and I know you're not going to do it. So whatever. And that's the new you saying to you, the old you, which is really still the you, the you that you are right now. So the new you is like laughing at the old you and saying, are, seriously, I can't take you seriously anymore, you. You keep saying you're going to do something and you never do it. Whatever. And this is the new you over here just saying, okay, fine, whatever. You know what I mean? Someday I will write a book. I don't know when I'll have time. And someday I'll write a book that will be a very interesting book to read. And I hope that I remember everything that's happened to me to write that book. <laughs> But I think that I will because I have a good mind. But I mean, some of the small things and the big things that have occurred to, that have happened to me from the time that I started trading or even before that, when I was doing mortgages and then trading and then now the television stuff, which I'm in the process of. I mean, it's quite, quite, quite an interesting process. But I will tell you, though, that the one common denominator in my own personal success is that I can easily, easily conceive of where I want to be in life. I can imagine it. I can picture myself there. It's as if I'm there already. I do that all the time, and it has helped to create my own reality. So if you, um, and, and, and again, that takes, you know, very little effort on your part. It doesn't cost a single solitary dime, but it's because I believe in myself, but I can imagine it. I can see it's as if it's there. And so the thing is that, you know, for those of you that are not successful trading, if you could just imagine yourself as this new you and, and, and actually that you're there, all of a sudden you'll feel more relaxed and you'll be able to take the necessary steps forward and you won't worry about whether or not it's going to work out because you believe that it will and you know that it will. And whether, whether you do this thing and this thing and this thing to get there or it goes in a different direction, it really doesn't matter. You know and believe that you will be successful whatever the steps are that you have to take. You don't need to know all the steps right now today in exact detail and order in order to become successful. You have faith and believe in yourself that you will. You can conceive the future as you want it to be, okay? And you don't have to worry about the fact that you don't have all the answers right now because you won't have all the answers right now. And you may not have all the answers in a week. And even when you start in the path, guess what? You're still not going to have all the answers. 
even if when you're on the path to the goal, you still may not have all the answers. Even if you're, you know, you're on the path, things are working out. Things are starting to get going. You're starting to make money. You real, it's starting to come together now. Now you can see it. Even if you're, even if you're not there yet, when, when you, even if you don't know how you're going to get there still yet, you don't know when the exact date and time and location, but you know that you're, you're gonna, and that belief, okay, will help to create the new you, but you can start right now today thinking in your mind right now that in the next two weeks, in the next 30 days, that the new you will come alive and believing that this will be the new you and that things will be different. Things will be better. You'll be making more money. You'll be trading better. You'll learn a new system. You're going to be committed. You're not going to be, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You're not going to be this person over here that no one can take seriously, that the new you can't take seriously, that the new you laughs at and says, that person isn't committed to squat. Easily and effortlessly envision your own success and it will do a huge, it will, it will benefit you enormously. So the thing is that, is that all it takes? Of course not. Is working hard important? Yes. Is working hard enough? No. Hell no, it's not. There's plenty of people that work hard. And I always use this example. There is uh, almost everyone that lives in New York works hard. There's a lot of people that work their tails off in Manhattan. They do to get by. They do to live here. They do because it's a fast paced city and they just do. And they're not all successful. So there are plenty of people that work their butts off that live in New York and they are not all successful. So hard work is not enough. You can study every trading book in the world and go every trading room. You can study and look up everything in the planet. And it doesn't mean you're going to make any money or a dime or get you anywhere ahead. You have to have more than hard work. It takes more than hard work to do it. Okay. And envisioning yourself being successful is actually even, I'd say even more important than doing the work, but you still have to do the work. You still do have to do the work. You have to spend the money. You have to do the work. But envisioning yourself as being successful and believing it, not just, like actually believing it is a huge part of it and may even be more, more, I would say now at this point, I would say that I think it is more important than the work, but you still need to do the work. Dreaming big is good. Just picture yourself taking the trade and succeeding, visualizing, yes. You're right, athletes do it. Athletes do it all the time. The successful ones do it. And you can tell the difference because sometimes you're watching, tennis is a good example, I watch these tennis matches because it's one person against the other. It's always one person against the other. I don't watch the doubles. But you can see, you know, they're all good. I mean, seriously, they're all amazing. And they wouldn't even be there. And you watch these big matches and one guy loses, one guy wins in the one match. You say, well, that guy that lost is fabulous. Why did that guy lose to that guy today? Was, was the other guy necessarily better? Not necessarily, but on that day he was. And so what prevented him from winning on that day, whoever lost, might just come right down to flat out attitude. Because once you get up to a certain level in a sport like that, I mean, it's literally like they're all that good. And it could be anyone's game on any given day. Write an outline. Yeah, I, I could write an outline for a book. Let's take a look at CTRP. Any thoughts, any questions? 